Today's topic is Bojangles Robinson. Bill Robinson, better known as Bojangles, was born Luther Robinson in Richmond, Virginia in May 28, 1878. His father, Maxwell, worked in a machine shop, while his mother, Maria, worked as a choir singer. When his parents died in 1885, Bill went to live with his grandmother, Belidia, who had been enslaved earlier in her life. According to Luther, he used physical force to compel his brother Bill to switch names, since he did not care about his given name of Luther. Later in his life, he earned the name Bojangles for his contentious tendencies. At the age of five, he began dancing for a living, performing at local beer gardens. In 1886, at the age of nine, he joined Mamie Raymondson's touring troupe. In 1891, he joined a traveling company, later performing as a vaudeville act. He achieved great success as a nightclub and musical comedy performer. At this stage of his career, he performed almost exclusively in black theaters before black audiences. In 1908, Robinson met Marty Forkins, who became his manager. Forkins urged him to develop his own solo act in nightclubs. Robinson took a break from performance to serve as a rifleman in World War I. Along with fighting in the trenches, Robinson was a drum major who led the regimental band up Fifth Avenue upon the regiment's return from Europe. In 1928, he starred in Broadway in the wildly successful musical Black Birds of 1928, which featured his famous stair dance. Black Birds was a Broadway musical starring African-American performers intended for white audiences. The show was a breakthrough for Robinson. He became better known as Bojangles, which connoted a cheerful and happy-go-lucky persona for his white fans, despite the polar opposite meaning of his nickname in the black community. His catchphrase, everything's copacetic, reinforced Robinson's upbeat demeanor. Although he worked regularly as an actor, Bojangles Robinson was best known for his tap dance routines. He helped pioneer a new form of tap, shifting from flat-footed style to a light swinging that focused on elegant footwork. Robinson's fame survived the decline of African-American reviews. He starred in 14 Hollywood movies, musicals, and played multiple roles opposite the child star Shirley Temple. His other films include Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm, The Little Colonel, and Stormy Weather, co-starring Lena Horne and Cap Calloway. Despite his fame, Robinson was not able to transcend the narrow range of stereotypical roles written for black actors at the time. By accepting these roles, Robinson was able to maintain steady employment and remain in the public eye. In 1939, at the age of 61, he performed in the Hot Mikado, jazz-inspired interpretation of Gilbert and Sullivan's operetta. He also celebrated his 61st birthday publicly by dancing down 61 blocks of Broadway. Robinson was also involved in baseball, as well as theater. In 1936, he co-founded the New York Black Yankees team, based in Harlem, with financier James Semler. The team was part of the Negro National League until 1948, when Major League Baseball became open to diversity. Despite earning millions during his lifetime, Robinson died poor in 1949 at the age of 71. Much of his wealth went to charities in Harlem and beyond before his death. Robinson's funeral, arranged by longtime friend and television host Ed Sullivan, was held at the 369th Infantry Regiment Armory and attended by thousands, including many stars from the entertainment industry. A eulogy by Adam Clayton Powell Sr. was broadcasted over the radio. The legacy of Bill Robinson. Better known as Bojangles, still lives on to this day.